welcome back to the channel guys today i can finally show you some gameplay and performance from final fantasy 7 integrated remake on the pc and this one kind of caught everyone off guard uh, it was announced at the game awards that it will be releasing on the 16th on the epic game store and this was obviously very tight-lipped there was no leaks or anything like that we always knew it was going to come to the pc we just wasn't sure when and uh, i'm pleasantly surprised to have it before christmas so uh yeah just loving that let's get into the in-game settings uh settings are kind of limited but i'll explain that in a moment you only can play in borderless full screen or windowed mode but it's no big deal playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 now text or resolution is only high or low as well as shadow but the game does come with a higher resolution texture pack by default it's actually got higher textures than the playstation 5 and obviously the PS4 Pro. Now, 120 FPS is the highest frame rate you can select. As far as I'm aware, maybe if you've got a higher refresh rate monitor, you may have extra options. This is just a limitation of my LG B9 OLED display, so I can't confirm if you can go above 120 FPS at this time. Now, I'm, so I've pushed the character display up to 10. It's default at eight, so I guess it's just how many uh, sprites or uh, characters you can render at once. Now, um, obviously you do have HDR support on this game as well. I'm playing at SDR because on YouTube, it takes like days to render videos um, in HDR, especially when they're over 10 minutes long. So I'll do a HDR video separately. And that is pretty much it. I'm actually using my PS5 DualSense 2 control pad as well. It's full support with that. So that's perfectly fine as well. One more thing I want to show is that with this version, you get this something called a gift box. And you get all this early access material like cactus summoning material chocobo chick and carbuncle plus you get a few accessories as well so it's a nice little bonus for getting the pc version which you don't get in any other version so the game finally gets rid of those ridiculous muddy textures that you would see every now and then on the ps5 version and very frequent in the ps4 version because they've upgraded all the textures and of course you can have a higher frame rate of 120 fps which is just super smooth and it just looks awesome on my lg b9 oled so i am just very very satisfied with the way the game performs as well performs really really smooth on the rtx 3090 um no option to disable v-sync though so you can't unlock the frame rate completely uh, but it still plays pretty smooth it is an unreal game so you will see playing spikes in between cutscenes here and there which is pretty commonplace but we finally got a, a next gen Final Fantasy game on PC I didn't think I'd see the day but it's finally happened very very expensive for a base game I played 70 pounds here in the UK from the Epic Game Store now that is very expensive for a base game that's something you'd usually expect from like a Dulux package or something So I didn't do the intro sequence. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with the, the original bombing mission. So I wanted to change it up a little bit because um, it's it's more of the scene that everyone's familiar with. So I wanted to kind of have an outside environment just to push the graphics and uh, see if there's any situations where performance might be a bit lacking. And from what I've seen in battles, that's the only time you'll actually drop from uh, 120 FPS really. Are you okay? Hey, are you 
Are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. Okay, how much? How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to sell f- <laughs> Okay, time to deal with these guys. Sword on the ground! Right now! I don't think so. short work of these guys so as you can see in in the battle situation you can drop frames every now and then depending on what animation is going on but for the most part you do hold 120 frames per second no holding back that's that take that a guard dog first need a light going in that's that. Not that. Let's quickly grab this material. Okay. I think I have to go down some kind of side street for a little quickly. And stop it. Nothing to it. Let's take these guys out as well. Take this one out first. Let's do this. No escape. Going in. Nice. But still alive. That it? 
Yeah, got a level level up out of it. So you do see a few frame spikes here and there. But again, as I said, the game really does play quite smoothly. Let's check my HP. Oh, that was a pretty hefty frame spike there. That weren't too pleasant. Okay. Let's see what you got. Take these guys out. No, it's We're pretty weak to fire. We'll keep the pressure on. I'll save my limit break for something a bit, bit stronger. But the rooftops are clear. Let's quickly grab what's in that chest. myself up while I got a chance. Do some ever as we've got to stay on top of this so you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. Don't underestimate him. <laughs> this one. I'll definitely have to use some magic on. Okay, easy work. There being this much sin rock. these guys. Yeah. 
Let's do this. Well, you can try and get behind them. Are they vulnerable? Okay, that's about it then. Enemy you have been warned. Surrender yourself to public security. The dogs are a little bit more tricky, to be fair. Let's take out the guy with the shield first. Easy. Get ready. Chill out. He's fire first. Time to burn. Let's finish this. Get off me already. You're done. Let's go. Level went up pretty quick. I think that's the way I came. I'm not too sure actually. It's the way I gotta do it. Should probably heal up as well because there's more likely a boss coming up, if I remember correctly. Boxed in. The focus on the most powerful ones first. Be a little bit of a problem. Burn. Need to get behind him where he's vulnerable. Get ready. He's braver. That's it. Try and stagger him if I can. Calling fire. Yeah. Come on, Cloud. Now. Let's do this. Finish him off. This cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You think he's a keeper? Uh, 
What the hell you been up to, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. An emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. I just want to get home. Wow, who the think of the people riding in the freight car? Unless they don't have much to get so my room than me. Stop that! Uh, right so now! Sorry, I got some clearing. Huh? Hey, got a second? Uh, they call it the just perpetrator. Just leave me alone, all right? You're, uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Why don't you learn to take a hint, well, buddy? My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Oh, yes, sir, it is. I didn't even realize she was on the train. Wait, what the? Oh, that's weird. Oh, so cramped. Grab my sleeve? Man, everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. They even have the tires down there. So if you're about to unburden like yourself, that. don't. Yeesh. You don't make it easy. Could have a really be right behind now. all this? That's Jesse. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Oh, there she is. Little help, Cloud, please. I'm sure I can't Sector stop thinking about it. Too. The bomb I made no, shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. <clears throat> What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking no. out your ass. <gasps> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? J just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. <laughs> uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> Them spiking words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? 
we should go. Right. <laughs> Baron needs to chill out. Time for a little nap. This train is slower than molasses, am I right? You hear that suit? Shinra Creed, my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Shinra Creed, my ass. Speak to Jesse again. this out of the way personally i find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable if it helps think of it as an initiation right how many times do i have to tell you people i'm not <clears throat> there's such a thing as playing too hard to get so here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of midgar complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization the whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> ah. hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Quite a long cutscene. But as you see, the cutscenes are just perfectly smooth, no problems there. Now, the RTX Rage 90 is not being bottlenecked or anything. It's just that once you hit the target frame rate, the GPUs will just back off and save power, so that's that's why the load is not 100%. Let's go to 7th heaven, CT for them. Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. 
goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. <laughs> You're such a kidder. The texture resolution um, isn't a massive deal for your VRAM. You're only using around 8 gigabytes, so I think most people will be able to run this at 4K, no problem. Whether or not you have to maintain 120 FPS is another thing. But uh, the RTX version actually seems to be doing that pretty well. Last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mongo place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh... think you're doing scaring my daughter like that daddy says never talk to strangers <sighs> that's right honey i do say that what a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons <laughs> you know what else good girls do they go to bed on time come on but i'm not tired i want to talk some more daddy mm, all right but just this once <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging wow, you into all shape. this. It was, it was wrong of me to put I you in danger like that. that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Hmm. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not good at all. I don't know what it is, but my life So, you make nice with everyone? Not as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. 
You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. One of my friends so said they saw it burning. It wasn't that bad? That reactors were it safe. was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it- There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> Hey guys, I think I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.